Now, we are just hours away now from the Joy Ballot Box live show from the Clotty College constituency. The former seat of government will host the groundbreaking show next after hugely successful shows in the Central and Ashanti regions. Head of our political desk, Evan Spencer, who is also host of the live event, has been telling us more about what will go into this evening's program. On Tuesday, we sent out ballot boxes into the constituency, and this is a huge constituency, Salem Dawa, Dabraka, Osu, all those areas, and part of Circle is part of the um, constituency. So we sent out ballot boxes, uh, a position, uh, two of them at fixed locations, one at the Oxford Street Mall, we had one also at the Champion Restaurant right in front of it, we had one, uh, a mobile one, at um, Trust Towers, and then moved to GIJ, and moved into other communities, we've also sent the first time, for the very first time, we decided, if you look at Kolikote, they have a fishing community uh, along the coast. I mean, those areas, if you go and put a battle box and ask them to write down the issues and pull them in, and you, you can bet that most people would not be able to read and write. And so what we did was to send a team into the constituency to speak to people. Um, we are broadcasting house, so let's record it um, visually and you know through audio means as well. We've done that, so we understand fairly what the issues are. So that is what is going from tonight's discussion. Mm -hmm. So tonight at 5.30 p.m. sharp, the show will start, but I mean, we are receiving our guests from 5 p.m. Uh, we will open the ballot boxes. Uh, it's been sorted last night. We know what the issues, the clusters are and the candidates will be there to interact, take questions and answer some of the key issues that we've identified. And we are inviting every single person who participated, hundreds of them, um, to also be present so that they can put their issues beyond you know, the fact that they've written them down and it's in the ballot box, directly voice them and, and interact with the candidates. And so it's going to be interesting. And the venue is the uh, Oxford Street Mall. Mm -hmm. uh, people know ShopRite. ShopRite is within the mall. It's above uh, the ShopRite, the, the terrace overlooking the Oxford Street itself. And we're very grateful to the broad managers of the facility there for allowing us to do this. And in fact, one of the things they're doing now is interesting. They know that politics can be a bit tense. So they said, OK, after the show they'll lay out um a, a, um, a live band okay. so that, you know, the candidates can interact. They can unwind, you know, True. after the heated conversation with the constituents and interact with them. So it's going to be fun, but it's also going to be a lot of uh, interrogation, questioning, and trying to dig out who is most qualified to represent the people. Okay. Right, so Evan Smesser has given us the details of what to expect tonight at uh, the Joy Ballot Box. In fact, after this show, I will be there as well, uh, helping and coordinating for the success of that event. You don't have to miss it. 5.30, it starts uh, starts on Joy 99.7 FM. You can listen into the program. Also, join us via social media with your views and comments. As tonight, the people of Clotic Collier will tell us what will influence their decision of who they will vote for in this year's parliamentary elections. Will it be Dr. Zanato Rawlings? Will it be Philip Addison? Or will it be the neutral in this competition, Madam Eva Loco of the Progressive People's Party? Let me now read some of your comments that you've sent to us already uh, here on the program. Uh, we put up the, um, the story, or let me say the notice that Councillor Lutro is joining us here on the program. You've sent in already tons of questions that you want us to ask him as he prepares to join us here on the program. Uh, Nana Obobosun Pim says he's a nice gentleman and makes good submissions, but he attaches too much of his personal preferences and beliefs to most of his statements. Nicholas Efidambe says he's my man, always, but his statements about a poor person or a guy in a single room shouldn't marry is surprising from him. He should retract or come clean up about that statement causing fear and panic in many relationships. Doesn't he believe that someone has a future, a rich man today, may lose everything in the future? So should the lady divorce him because he no more has the cash to keep her going? Uh, okay, so th those are your comments. A lot more of your questions you've sent us here. I'll look at them critically, and when he joins us, I'll stick them to him in a view of getting the responses you do require. He will join us here on the program to try and get an understanding of the comments he's made in the past few months that has courted a lot of controversy. In fact, when we posted this particular issue and promoting that he will be here from yesterday, we've had tons of messages. A lot of it has been uh, questioning his style and the way he does things. Some even took it very personal and said all manner of things. But he will join us and we'll get into his head and try and understand why 
he continues to say things in that way that is causing a lot of controversy and problems in people's homes and in their marriages. If you have any more thoughts to share, the page is there. Join news, uh, so join news on Facebook, drop your comments, and we will share your thoughts with the rest of the world. Also, on Twitter, our handle is at Join News on TV. You can drop your comments on the issues we are discussing here on the program today. I'll read your comments when they come in. Already, I've only seen uh, Emmanuel Deborah 31 minutes ago saying A. I don't know which one that is referring to, but I'm sure we'll get to it uh, shortly. So keep your comments coming at Join News on TV. The hashtag is The Pulse. We'll share your thoughts with the rest of the world. We'll go for a quick break at this point. When we come back, there is more. That interview is coming your way here on The Pulse. Stay with us.